North Coast Resource Conservation and Development Council's Rain Catchers Program helps schools and community gardens by funding rainwater harvesting demonstration and reuse projects. School campuses and community gardens, and especially food or pollinator gardens, are great locations to create rainwater harvesting projects. Campus projects are also highly visible and serve as model projects for thousands of students, parents, and teachers together. We all imagine today's students need to learn the value and importance of conserving the Earth's resources. Our Rain Catchers program not only helps schools and community gardens save water, but also creates an opportunity to teach students the importance of water conservation. These systems can help teachers and students close the loop on the water cycle, conservation, erosion, and environmental stewardship as fresh water is becoming increasingly limited in supply. Hi, my name is Brock Dahlman and I work for the Occidental Arts and Ecology Center and I, and I co-direct our Water Institute and we're in Western Sonoma County. We're a small nonprofit and roof water harvesting specifically have been projects that we've developed, have implemented and then have been educating about. Well, I think what's really critical about the Rain Catchers program is the fact that we actually live here in California in a Mediterranean climate and what's unique about that is we get winter rain and we have a very long dry season. And so in that long dry season, the demand for water is high, but we don't have a lot of input. And so the beauty of a rain catcher program where we're doing roof water harvesting is that we have an abundance of rain in the winter, which we can catch off of these roofs. We can store that water. And then during the summertime, we can use that stored water from the roof water tank instead of actually taking it out of the stream. So that means we can maintain in-stream flows for endangered fish like coho, salmon, and steelhead or other uses and be able to use this high quality rain water that we've stored in the tank for our irrigation uses or other domestic uses that we uh, need water for. And so it's really the fact that we see roofs as an above ground well and one opportunity is to intercept that water from the roof and store it in the tank so it doesn't run off so fast in the winter time and we're able to store that extra water. And so if you really think about it in a Mediterranean climate, especially in coastal California, we don't live in a water scarce area, we actually live in a storage scarce area. We get plenty of rainfall, we get amazing amounts of rainfall, but we don't have summer in-stream flows. And so therefore, if we can reduce people's demand for water in the dry season, from wells and other sources and surface water by having stored water from the winter, then that can ameliorate the impact of our water demand in the summertime by storing that winter water that was seemingly in excess. So again, it's really not a water scarce area, but a storage scarce area. And that's where roof water harvesting and having the right size water tank can help us catch that water off the roof and store it in the, in the tank and then have it for the summer and leave the water in the stream for the fish and people in the summer as well. So we get the best of both worlds in that regard. My name is Charlene Rowland and I am the CTE Sustainable Agriculture teacher here at River Community School. And my name is Jonna Whitehaw and I am a general education teacher for alternative education students here in Mendocino County Office of Education. The conception of the MCOE Youth Garden, which is a garden that's meant for all of the youth here in Mendocino County, whether they're in an alternative education setting or not, um, was really kind of an, an adventure brought back by the students. I really want to do this and I'm finding that not only am I becoming impassioned about it, but my students are becoming impassioned about it as well. Over a five year period, we took something that was seriously nothing but a fallow field and we turned it into an absolute amazing backbone of our school and of our community. One of those students came back and I saw him and he said, my mom right now in this drought, we need to collect some rainwater, so we're gonna take it off of the goat pen and I know how to do it. If you can just touch one student, then that's it, something. This system here at uh, River Community School has just been a very useful tool uh, as far as teaching my students about conservation practices. It was very important for us to actually develop some water conservation here in Mendocino County. A couple years ago when we did not have this rainwater catchment system we were facing a, yet again a very dry summer and we had just had been blessed I want to say with uh, an organization called Common Vision that had come out and they had donated a whole bunch of fruit trees to us and as we were moving into the summer our maintenance department came in and they said you know your water use is just absolutely unsustainable 
And if you're gonna to continue to use this much water, we're gonna to have to cut your garden program. We started this project, students designed every single piece of the project they were involved. So how hard or how easy was it to get the students involved in this project? Was it something that they, once they knew that they wanted to do it, was it easy to get them to engage with this? That, it was uh, actually difficult to get them to unengage with it. <laughs> and the day that the water tank came on the truck, it was like Christmas here at school. <laughs> it was crazy. The kids were so excited. We had all hands on the water tank. Mm -hmm. And that really started off a major project that I'm just so glad to see that once a student has an idea, how mm -hmm. far that idea can really take us. And through that, I really saw my students absolutely blossom and move from students to active members of society. And that's the goal. And this orchard is completely watered by the rainwater catchment tank. These trees, when they were young, they need a lot more water than the older orchards that you see or even the orchard where it's at right now. And this year when we're facing once one of our worst one. droughts, um, I'm very confident that we're gonna have a garden growing. My name's Gowan and I'm the farm manager for the Noyo Food Forest. Uh, we're a nonprofit farm to school program that grows produce in our site here at the high school learning garden that feeds uh, over 1,800 school kids in our Fort Bragg Unified School District. Uh, we also do educational programming, events, we have an annual Earth Day celebration, and we partner with AmeriCorps and Triple C to train uh, transitional aged interns, and we also have a high school summer youth intern. Our rainwater catchment system, which was a gift from the North Coast Resource Conservation Development Council, um, is a 5,000 gallon water cistern with a first flush system. Um, we have our, an overflow uh, spillway which, uh, with large bamboo pipes, which leads down to a rain garden that also absorbs the water runoff from our vegetable washing inside our shade house. Um, so we have reeds and wetland plants planted there. And um, because we're growing food for the school gardens, um, we're using municipal treated water to irrigate our vegetables and to wash them. But we are on a very tight water, uh, very, very tight water supply. And so what we use our rainwater cistern for is irrigating our fruit trees and perennial flowers that form the border around our garden. And without this rainwater cistern, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that. We've got a very, very, very tight water <laughs> water situation in California in general and here specifically. So um, being able to catch rain that's falling from the sky allows us to keep doing the things that you know make the garden beautiful and interesting and you know, not just providing produce for the kids. Students here absolutely know about the rain catchment system. It was actually painted collaboratively with Janet Self, uh, with Flockworks, with a group of students and, and volunteers. And um, I think that what the rainwater catchment system does for the students is allows them to have a more enriching and beautiful environment because we have our fruit trees and artichokes and our bulb flowers and our rhubarb and a lot of our food forest plants are irrigated with the rainwater. So this is our rainwater catchment tank. Uh, the water comes off of the roof here, goes through these pipes, through our first flush system, and then it's diverted into the tank. Any overflow from the tank comes down this pipe goes through these bamboo uh, bamboo pipes down to our rain garden uh, down below our shade house. What do you like about the water tank that your school has? Well, I like it because we don't have to, we can use it instead of the, like using a well, we can save the water and use it resourcefully. Kind of. So we can like water plants without wasting the water. My favorite part of the garden is watching the frog eggs hatch into tadpoles and then watching them turn into frogs and then catching the frogs and then putting them back in the pool. My favorite part of, the, of having the water tank is being able to recycle the water instead of wasting it all. Every drop counts, and educating our youth with rain catchers not only catches the drops, but helps build leaders who can change our future.